another session of Hogan's Recap. I'm going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, we're here at the Ring of Hope. You already see what the hope is here. You know what? I think I said that wrong. I think you see the future here. Let me go ahead and just say a couple of things as, as we get started here. This man to my right, to your left, in my world, he's no stranger to this area's best. I have none other than Charles, the future hat. Charles, what's going on, Brady? You know what, man? The thing is, is what I like about what I know about you, I take it one step further, the massive machine of destruction. Let me go ahead and tell you what this man has done. I think we already all know. Charlie said that 15 and 0 as a professional. 12 KOs. He just recently got tagged by ESPN to be part of the action. What's going to be happening in Fort Worth at Fort Worth Convention Center on February the 4th. I know there has not been an opponent named yet. But you know what, Charlie? I think you can probably already tell whoever it is. What message do you have? Whoever takes that bow in February 4th. Tell me what's going to happen. It might, it might not be an opponent. It might not be one. Oh, baby! It might not be one. When I step in, it ain't going to be one. That's all I got to say. Well, you know what? You know, Charlie, as most of y'all know, he's short on the words because the humility that resides in his heart only is exuberated through these hands. That's the way he talks. Well, you but know, you know, well, you know I'm the preacher. 2010 was the past. Today is the future. That's me. I'm the future. So, you don't want to look toward the future to get me. Charlie, I think, I think you said a, a new thing. What, what you just told me was 2010 is the past. The future is 2011. And I'm looking at the future, right? Well, let me ask you this, Charlie. What is the weight that has been agreed upon? Have you been told what the weight is? 154. But that ain't, that, that ain't the weight. Any, anything from 150 to 155, I'll take it. Just step in, make a phone call. Whoever want it can get it. Whoever want it can get it. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to make sure I understood this. I want to make sure I make a clear message. I think you put a challenge to anybody who weighs between 150 and 155. Is that right, Charlie? I ain't stuck. It's only all great. I tell you what, I'm gonna tell you right now. Anybody in the 150 to 155 range, I think this man just put it out. Tell Any, you tell you what, I need 155 to move it to 168. I got a brother that take it to 168. He ain't got no problem with it. Oh, are you, uh, are you talking about the technician? Technician. You talking about Greg, the technician, Hattie Jr. Yeah, yeah the, he, he, he might be here somewhere. Well, I tell you what, I tell you what, we're gonna look for him here, but I'm gonna finish up with you because Charlie, you know what? You are the massive machine of destruction, and I know February the fourth. If them people out there don't hear the rumble, if you're not there, February the 4th, you know what, baby? I want to tell you, you miss the fight of the fights. You know what? You may not be the main event, but I think when we get through, Charles, the future had me, may be looked at as the main event itself. You ain't said nothing wrong. You still haven't said anything wrong. Well, I think, I think about everyone will know Charles had me. Not the people that's watching the fight, but everyone will know Charles had me. The future. Well, Charlie? Charlie, what I want to make sure that the five fans out here, because we love to be in the information dissemination center. We don't cause poop. We just get the information out. That's what we do. So what we're doing here, we're just making sure that everybody knows what Charles the Future Hadley is doing right now. I know we're sitting right now on New Year's Day right now. This is January the 1st. And I think the new vision you have is that you want to make sure you destroy everybody's name. Day, who gets in the ring with you. Is that right? That's it. That's it. Anyone step in, like I said the first time, anyone step in, I'm willing to give them a challenge. Uh, I'm really looking for some of the big guys to give me an opportunity to be a world champion. I ain't, I ain't begging that for no one who want to give me that opportunity to, get to be a world champion. That's me in the future, and I'm going to hold it. Charlie, as I start to wind this down, I'm going to tell you, I spent the day with you and the technician, you and your brother Greg. Y'all brought a new dimension to conditioning. Do you want to kind of elaborate on this, or am I saying too much? Well, you know what? To make a long story short, or to make this easy, I gotta take out my shirt and show a little something. But I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna show that on the floor. Well, I'm gonna tell you, ladies and gentlemen, as I start to wrap this up, I can only tell you, I spent a full day in the boxing gym. Oh, what am I saying? I'm not really giving full credit here. It started out at a fitness center, and then we took the workout from downtown Dallas to the swamps of South Oak Cliff, and then we went to work down there. I'm gonna tell you, all people who are looking to mess with the Hatties right now, you better have your game on, your A game, because they brought in a conditioning. And let me 
to you again. A conditioning individual who has already visited 26 countries, over 30 years of experience in the fight game himself. And he looked at me right in the eye. He told me one thing. I'm not going to give you his name right now, but he said, you want to see the future of boxing 15 years from now? I'm going to give it to you 15 and years later. Ladies and gentlemen, we did find the technician here in the gym. I have him here right beside me. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, the technician. I tell you what, real quick, I tell you what, I just had your brother here, and I've already made this very well known. Greg, you know I saw you the other day knocking it out in the gym. I tell you what, there's two words I can say about you. Very methodical and very calculated. That's the kind of fighter you are. You're sitting at three and one with three KOs. I'm going to ask you real quick. What is the challenge you can tell any of the fight fans and potential opponents what Greg, the technician, happy junior is looking for? I come back mean, I'm better, strong, and ferocious. I'm coming back both fielders, more determined. Well, I don't see the rest. Oh, I, I tell you what. I, you know, he said you don't want to see the rest. I don't think you want to see the rest if you're in the ring with him. I want to see the rest because I know what this man is gearing up for. He's had one defeat. I don't want to harp on that one defeat. But you know what? I'm just going to mention this right now, Greg, because I think this voice needs to be heard from your behalf. I did have an interview with Kentrell Clayton. Tell me what you got to say about that. See, what you're doing is doing your job is still getting the man killed. Oh, baby. Golly. Kentrell, uh, I think the, the invitation, uh, I don't know which way I'm going to look at it, but we're just a conduit of information here. We don't stir no poo. We just get it from one point to the other. And I think this boxer here has just issued a very, very formal challenge. You want it back in the ring, don't you? I just told I'm back doing a bad the road. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. We love us fight fans at North Central Texas. We love to see good action. And i tell you what. As I close this part of this interview, I just want to wish you, Greg, the best of luck. I don't have to give you the luck from the standpoint of training, because I know you do one thing. You hit it hard. You hit it like you live, baby. Hard. And I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, when I see that bout, I'm going to be right there ringside. I'm going to be watching it. I'm going to watch the punches flow from one to the other. Stay in tune. On the head, www.NorthTexasVistaCup.com. It's been my pleasure. The voice of North Texas Combat Sports, Roland Gomez.